What is the people? How's it going? This is Bharat and welcome back to yet another video on OpenCV KVMD series. So for this one, I'm going to be using this very simple towel here and trying to do the invisibility cloak technique using OpenCV. It's a very simple to do technique by taking a reference of your background and creating a couple of masks to mask your current image and you will have your background available. So that's what I'm going to try to do in this video. So let's get this video started straight away. Before we begin, a quick note from our sponsor, Anacademy. Are you a student or a working professional who is looking for a great career in software development? Check out anacademy.com slash go slash career as a software developer and you'll be taken to this link. All you need to do is just check out all the upcoming live classes that are being taken by top educators in their industry. They will walk you through their own industry experience and interact with a lot of guests like HR and industry leaders of top companies where they will answer all of the questions that are raised by you. In live episodes, you get an opportunity to ask tech HRs about top 20 interview questions on industry leaders directly about their recruitment process in startups and MNC, what's the eligibility and how to apply and how they build such great products. Not only this, you can participate in mock interviews and learn courses on programming languages, cloud computing, blockchain and crypto, tech aspects of digital marketing and data analytics. If you ever wondered about the hiring process of top startups and similar top MNCs, get to understand the A to Z recruitment process by getting some ideas into the interesting projects which they are working on. In the show hosted by Anuj Kumar Sharma, you'll be getting to understand about top prominent HR leaders of tech industries. You'll get to understand the hiring process, structure of teams, key product offerings and interesting projects being worked on by the HRs. So how exactly is the show different from the ones that are available on YouTube? You'll be getting to hear directly from companies about the HRs and tech teams and what they look for in individuals while ac acquiring people. You do not need to shell out a lot of money to get the subscription. You will need to spend 999 per year or 83 rupees per month. Or if you choose to use my promo code which is CoderMonk, you will get 10% off the subscription and just spend only 75 bucks per month. All the links that are discussed here are in the description below. Check them out and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below as well. Alright, hopefully you guys are coming here from watching me uh, do multiple videos on OpenCP and KVMD. And this is the template uh, application that I have for every single video. This uh, the application starts with a build method and has a load video method where the load video is called 30 frames per second. And it's using the video capture uh, that is available as part of CV2. So all this initialization is done uh, pretty much in the first video and I've explained about it in detail. So if you guys are interested, check the first video of this playlist and you will have it right there so what you're going to be doing today for, for today is like i said have a couple of reference images of the background so the couple of reference images when i say the reference image of the background the first frame and you should have that as your reference image and post that every image will be trying to have that as the mask for the background so we're going to be creating two masks one for the red colors cloth that i have in my hand and trying to create that mask with respect to the background and there you go you have created your clock uh, invisibility cloak so what you're going to do is to start with the numpy that is initialized already and you need to have two variables initialized by the start like i said we need to have a variable for the uh, reference image uh, which is going to be the background image so i'm just going to set the first frame as zero so the first frame of my re real-time video will be considered as the background so make sure to not be present in that first frame so next one is all obviously have the next uh, uh, get started with the load video itself and the load video like i said we need to have couple of in informations so we need to have the first frame uh, so i'm just going to say if self dot first frame is equal to equal to zero that means that i need to initialize my background image as the first image right so i'm just going to say the frame and that's it so i'll just in increment my first frame and it will never come inside this block at all so this is a simple technique to probably initialize your background images and stuff so you can do it at uh, however you want to so i'm just going to do it this way uh, next step is to start with the conversion of our uh, RGB or the BGR to HSV because it is easy to apply masks on it. I already talked about this when we tried to do the ball tracking in, uh, ball tracking in Kiwi uh, application and it was really, really easy to do that. So you need to have an HSV format image to do all sorts of uh, color adaptation or if you want to do segmentation with color, you can do all of that with HSV. HSV. So we we'll just get started. I'm just going to create HSV image just to use the CV2.CVT color and you will just say frame it needs to be converted to cv2.color uh, bgr to hsv right 
BGR to HSV. All right, so here the BGR to HSV followed by that we will be now in initializing our range of red color. So I have uh, this red color towel in my hand. If you have a green color towel, it's okay, but make sure to uh, make sure that your background and your foreground or whatever color you're trying to mask your face with uh, is not the same or else it will never work out. So you need to have a distinct difference between your background and the foreground. I found this only red towel available with me. So I'm just using the red towel. Um, that's pretty much it. So you need to set two variables the lower red and the upper red uh, this is also we saw in the ball tracking application so it's going to be all information from it's going to be the uh, bgr hsv information so make sure to set this information uh, as to your color so i'm using the 140 followed by that upper red it's going to be hnp array right and it's going to be having 100 255 255 so i'm just telling pg rgb next one is to create the first mask this first mask is nothing but uh, mask for your f your your foreground image so, so use the cvt dot in range and uh, use the hsv that you have already in your hand and use the lower red and your upper red so this will pretty much identify the red color in your in your foreground or the real-time image that comes in the picture and it'll create a mask on it so it will be like a black background in the it will just be completely black wherever you show this it will be completely black uh, and we need to now use a second mask which is for the background right we don't want the background to always be present so if i have a red background here i want to create another mask that will be taken and attached to my first mask so the mask plus one plus two will be giving you my final image this is the simple logic that you're going to be using so let's do that right now so again use the uh, lower red and that's going to be again in pra dot uh, pra we can use the lower red from here itself so there is no need to initialize another variable uh, the i'm going to be just changing the upper red a little bit so that it accepts uh, additional information as well uh, just uh, apply it a little bit change it a little bit 180 to 55 to 55 and i'll be now creating my second mask which is the mask of my background so it's going to be mask 2 which is equal to c2 dot in range and i'm just going to be applying my hsv again lower uh, red and upper red so this is going to be like giving you me enough information of my final mask and this technique is if you want you can do multiple mask technique or you can just go with a single mask for your foreground itself so just create our final mask which is going to be uh, mask is equal to mask one plus mask two or you can just initiate it to the mask one mask one plus mask so you have to uh, we have final mask present this is nothing but an addition of the pixels so it's in it's doing a numpy addition and it just gives me my final mask that i need again even if you want you can even uh, show this to here like you can do a cv2 dot im show and see how this masks turn out it will be like a fully black here everywhere that you're showing your red towel will be completely removed it will completely get removed so that's what we have attempted right here all right so we can uh, do additional processing on it if you want you can refine the image so that uh, it's clearer uh, removes as much noise as possible because that's also another problem with uh, using open cv right i i talked about this also where you have a lot of noise and you always have to almost all the time have to be processing it to clear up all this noise so i'm going to be doing this uh, using the mask uh, morphology x to clear up some information that noise that comes into picture so morphology x i'm using the mask one and i'm just going to be using the cv2 dot morph open and numpy ones this is going to be three comma three so you need to have a nd array of three comma three followed by that I'm going to be having it in the form of UNP intake. U intake. All right, file the only iterations as much as you wanted to. I'm going to be keep setting it to two iterations and I am done. So the mask one is now getting morphology, meaning that it's removing, it's morphing as clearly as possible and also removing as much noise as possible. So the next processing I'm going to be doing is to CV2 to dilate so it doesn't have sharp edges. Um, so mask one. 
again is going to go through NP ones, uh, three comma three. Make sure to pass it clearly, and it should be NP dot U in eight. And finally, we have the iterations is equal to two. So as much as you want to do or one, you can do anything you want. Finally, in the mask wise mask two will be now doing a bitwise not on it. Uh, which will completely remove all the unnecessary information from your first mask. So your mask two will now have nothing but your face and mask one will have everything but your your red color towel. This is how you're going to be doing or you're going to be removing information. Finally, time to generate our input output where we, as I said, re take the information from the background and place it wherever this red towel mask is present. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So result one is going to be cv2 dot bitwise and uh, and i'm just going to be using the self dot background image and background image again and using the mask as the replacer so mask is going to be the mask one I replace everything from the background from where the mask one is present that's going to be another result two that will try to put all the information around the frame itself which we have now and it's going to be using the mask two as the mask for it so we have two images and it's time to create the final output uh, which will be nothing but a c2 dot weighted and add weighted and we'll just add the result one with weight one and result two with weight one zero so pretty much we are done this is nothing but basic vector addition and vector multiplication um, i'm also going to be planning on doing a numpy series so making it sure that you guys understand as much as information as possible so nothing but function calls here but these are all already available algorithms to present you know um, to present your mask masking techniques segmentation all of that is going to be available so this is pretty much it you have created the final output you can directly show your final output here but as you all know that uh, in order to show the final output back to the image itself we need to put this final output inside my frame so that's what i'm going to be doing So I'm going to be putting my final output in my frame in the, in the place of a frame. So it's still going to be the, since the frame, uh, the final output is also going to be a PGR. I don't have to do any more changes. Just replace all my textures with the final output and I am done. I also added the base now. So pretty much my work is done. Time to run this application. But like I said, make sure the first frame is an empty frame. So it should not be in the picture. So I'm going to be keeping and running this and showing you guys how this works out fine for you. As you can already see, it's doing as much uh, morphing as possible. I'm going to bringing, be bringing my red towel inside now. And you can see that pretty much it's doing the clocking for me. And I do know that the light is too much on my face right now. And it is having so much noise around here. So I guess I'm going to be doing another round of cutting the iterations. I guess the iterations is too much. So it is doing a lot of cutting right here. So I'm just going to be removing one iteration from pretty much here. Um, just since I'm doing the mask dilate as two, it is having so much uh, a noise. So I'm just going to try with an iteration one to see how it fares. All right, it's still doing something similar to that. I think because it's picking up all this information as uh, the black color itself and it shouldn't be doing that. But like I said, the noise is always going to be there. So you need to have a clearer background image and the clearer background image is not, I mean, my background is not very clear at this point of time. So if you can try to do this, uh, the, the masking is still working, right? If you see, uh, it's trying to bring my background. So if you see that it's taking an account of my shoulder as also into the picture so it's not very comfortable doing it so you have a clearer background it will be able to do it much more clearly so that's pretty much what i wanted to show you guys in this video this is actually a very good technique or some something some cool project for you guys to show uh, showcase in any of the programming languages that you're writing you can have your own uh, masking technique and uh, maybe show it in your java project anything that you can do probably you can also you adapt the same algorithm so that's pretty much it what uh, for the uh, video guys so i just have this much only planned hopefully you guys did understand what i talked about here if you do not understand you can drop any comments at any point of time and i'll be able to help you guys as much as i know i'll see you guys in the next video hopefully this video is informative enough uh, until then it's Bharat. peace out have a super awesome day